Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday already. Wednesday, can't even believe that. It's freezing cold outside. It's 70 degrees inside, and we had most of the windows closed last night. Sylvie's still sleeping. Gabby's up. She's just having breakfast and getting ready for our day. This dude is stinking up the house. You stink. I'm sorry to have to say it to you, but you stink. I love having him. I really love having him, but really he does smell. 71 degrees in the house. It's like fall, you guys. It's like fall outside, but I'm glad because I'm sure warmer weather is about to come and I'll be complaining because of the heat. But anyway, let's get started. Let's get this amazing day started on with the video. So I am cleaning out the bird cage. And Sophie's awake. Good morning, guys. What do you got there? A book. A book? Good. You got a good poison. book to read? Poison. All these animals in here are all poisonous. Poisonous. And Bailey is over there walking around. Come here, Bailey. Call him. Bailey. Come here, Bailey. Bailey. He actually comes to us. Because he actually wants to be with us. He's like, I know you were in that room just a minute ago. Okay, Gabby, come over here now. See how he fluffs his feathers like that? And he puts his head like that and squats down? That's him being submissive to us. That's him saying, I know you're the boss of me. Isn't it adorable? Yeah, he's the sweetest baby. So I've been putting like old towels, rags on the bottom of his crate because it says they people, because it's said that it's better than newspaper because birds, uh, because birds have a hard time walking on newspaper because their feet slip. And this morning, Sophia found him. He was, he was walking around while I was cleaning out his cage and Sophia's like, look what's on his foot. And so I came over, did I throw it out? Yeah, I did. And he had all these threads from the, one of the rigs that I put in there, they were black. They were like this black thread here, but his whole entire foot was tied up with thread. So I had to cut, cut it off. And he was super good about it. Gabby said dad saw it, Sam saw it last night and didn't tell me, but yeah. So thankfully I caught that before that turned into a catastrophe. Uh, maybe that's the wrong word, a bird catastrophe. But anyway, all is good and I'm getting ready to put him back in his pen. But I love him exploring and learning about his world. I hate that he's getting used to being here, but there's nothing I can do about that. Billy! Come here, Billy! Here he comes. Here he comes. Hello. Hello. You're such a pretty boy. Yes, I know. I know. I know. See, if he wanted to hurt me, he would really hurt me, but I'm not afraid of you. Come here, I can't reach you. Yes, I know that you're saying that I'm the boss of you. I understand that. I am the boss of you. Come here, we need to find you a good family. Come here. Are you gonna get my toe? He's like, hmm, I'll play with you, but only if I can get your toe. Come here. He's like, I'll have a bath first. He's gonna peck my toes. I know you wanna get my toes. I am outside on the porch with the with the doggies. One of my favorite things to do in the morning. Well, especially when the morning is not super hot. Any of you guys who are new subscribers, you probably don't know, but we have three chihuahuas. I don't know how they miss getting in the vlog because they are always out and about and running all over the place. We do crate them at night and we crate them when we feed them and just to keep the other dog from eating their food. But they're so busy and so much a part of our life and somehow they never get into our videos. What are you reading? Nothing yet. Let me see it. Somebody woke up super grouchy. Animal stories by young writers. That looks cute. Perfect for us. You know what? Some people think that you're gonna grow out of horses. Do you think it could happen? I just told that we have a bunch of new subscribers, Sophia, and they don't know that we have chihuahuas. Stinky. They don't know we have chihuahuas. Who's this? This is Cookie, my chihuahua. Yeah, she's your chihuahua. This is Macy. And she's three pounds. And whose chihuahua is she? My sister. She's Gabby's chihuahua. Oops. And luckily for me, 
Just last year, I managed to get my own Chihuahua that nobody stole from me. Macy used to be my Chihuahua when I first got her, and very soon after, Gabby stole her from me, and she's been Gabby's dog for a lot of years. If you want to see some of the videos that Gabby has made with Macy, they're so cute. They're on Gabby's channel, and her channel is called Always Gabby. So interesting, we saved the best for last. No. This is Toby. This He's is... so dumb. No, let's not say that. Let's not say that about my boy. Look at how cute he is. So Toby is a two pound chihuahua and he's a puppy mill rescue and Cookie is a puppy mill rescue as well. And he is the love of my life. I love him so much. He wants to get down and play with the other dogs. Oh, he just wants mama. No. He just wants me. Yes, Puppy. he does. All right, what are we making? Chocolate fidget spinners. You heard it. Chocolate fidget spinners. So we're melting. Should we put a little bit of water in this? Or no. milk? Maybe. So we're melting our chocolate. So it's going melt? Oh, it's starting to melt. All right, let's not add anything. All right, so we're we making. Both do it. We're melting our chocolate. How are we doing it, Gabby? Double boiler. We're double boiling it. Then we got all the, these sprinkles, all different kinds of sprinkles, and we had some that we had left over, and some pink stuff, and we got our mold, we made our mold, we used a fidget spinner, and we put it in Play-Doh, and then we covered it with cellophane so that under no circumstances will our, will our chocolate fidget spinners taste like Play-Doh. Like our last ones, because we learned, let me tell you, we made edible fidget spinners before, and they did not turn out. How's the chocolate going? Good. Right, so we're just doing a little bit of chocolate at a time. Good job, Miss Sophie. Still no hair brushing. I'm like big on brushing her hair and getting dressed. I'm even big on fashion, like them wearing specific things. Guys, look, but, this wouldn't come off. But it's summer and they've been getting up late and they've just been coming down dressed and doing their own thing and it's summer so I'm good with that. Oh, oops. We made two. We made this one that was our first try, not so good. Then we edited it a bit, edited it. We altered it a bit and we made it deeper and then we got this one and it's not so bad. And so I told the girls, let's just keep doing them until we perfect it. So I realized now I have no way to freeze these things and make them hard because I have them stuck to the table. So then I got out a trusted cookie sheet and I'm gonna try the next couple on that. We are cleaning up the mess and we only had one rule while we were making them and the rule was that we can't eat the ingredients because you definitely don't wanna eat the ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> Gabby was she not gave me a chocolate spoon. Gabby was not eating the ingredients at all. Sophie, come on, let's take a look at you, my love. You did not eat any ingredients, did you? Look at did you eat any ingredients? <laughs> no. My mom gave me a chocolate spoon to look on. And you, mom, did you eat any ingredients? I have all over my shirt. Every single time she eats something. Yeah, I did not actually eat any. Is there any on my face? I did not actually. I may have licked my fingers off a bit. But anyway, it's true. Hey I gave them the spoon at the end to lick off. But I just thought it was funny that you so could we walk around have... with a dirty face full of chocolate and not know. Take a look. <laughs> All right, so I took one of our fidget spinners out and this is what it looks like. So it's not a perfect fidget spinner, but it's an edible fidget spinner shape. Yeah, I'll take yours out. I want to take mine out. Okay, let's just show them how it comes out. It comes right out of the Play-Doh, which is perfect. Gotta be careful at this part point because sometimes it sticks. All right, so Gabby's is a better shape. So we did her second and we made it wider so you can actually see the holes. That's super cool. Let's see yours. Look so at the this bottom. Is, this is, yeah, that's cool. So this is the bottom of Gabby, Sophie. No, this is top. This the is top, bottom. yeah. The bottom looks better they than They look the good actual. enough to eat. We're at the barn and we're gonna see what Gabby's gonna ride today. Hopefully it's blue. Ride. Who are you riding? I'm riding blue. You're riding blue? Alright.
All right, so we're walking Blue down to his, to get his supper. Gabby, how was your lesson? What did you do different today? Um, this my first time cantering a line of jumps. It was the first time cantering double, a line of jumps? Line of jumps? And like is it line. the first time that you cantered without hands? <laughs> I did the Y and C. Okay, well what's that called, what you were doing? Cantering, were you cantering without arms? Without rains. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is that time again to end today's video. And Sophie's gonna end today's video and she's gonna try and do comment of the day. To comment of the day is by, is, is written by my underscore bay underscore Jed. My bay Jed. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I personally think that you should. See if you can get the most more lessons before talking about leasing, loaning, loaning, buying, smiley face. I used to just ride once a week, but then I started riding twice a week, and it really helped. But before you start looking for a permanent, permanent horsey. Yep. Before you start looking for a permanent horsey <coughs> or buying, buying, you should sell less lease, so lease on board. I leased a horse to. <coughs> Out with and he didn't turn out to be right, so he just went back after the lease ended. Ended by the time I was ready, I <coughs> bought a horse, Jed. Jed, yep. And he is perfect. You should definitely. Board lease one first smile face the girls all progressing progressing very well in their riding. Amazing! I've never heard her read that well. That was awesome, Sophie. Oh, guys, on my hair. Comment down below if you want me to do a baby video. Yes. yes. Sophie has do been that. dying to do a baby alive video and she <coughs> wants to know if you guys want to see one. Anyways, before we end today's vlog, I want to tell you guys that we are on to some new leads for leasing because of you guys. Some of you guys have sent us leads and messages on Facebook and, no, it's, led, and it's led us to find new leads and it's amazing. So every five minutes, something changes for me and I'm like, yep, yeah, we're just going to do more lessons. And then the five minutes later, I'm like, oh, I just found the best leasing thing ever. It's amazing. So thank you so much for all of your comments and all of your suggestions and all of your help. My mom said leads instead of leasing. Oh, sorry. Leads to find a lease. Oh no, cause they, yeah, leads, leads. Like they are sending us leads, like directing us where to go to find a good lease. Okay, so anyway, that's it for today. Ow! <laughs> Do you guys all abuse your parents? And for you parents, your kids abuse you like my kids abuse me? All right. It's spit covered. Okay, let go of my chin. All right, Sophie, end it, baby. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Click the icon above to watch more vid a different video and mystery videos if you <coughs> don't know. And bye. Bye. And don't forget.
forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.